Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be rebuilding slash repairing a skid steer attachment called a grapple. Uh, it's been up real bad. There's about four teeth that I plan on replacing and a plate itself, uh, as you'll see here shortly. But the first thing I needed to do was get footage of where the hydraulic hoses were ran and how they were ran. Because after lots of minutes of studying my plan of action for this repair, I knew that I wanted to take off the, the hydraulic claws so I could work on this a little easier. And here the claws are already taken off and you can see what is actually bent. You can get a better view here. And so the first thing I did was cut out the pieces of pipe. There was two pieces of inch and a quarter, or it's probably technically called one inch pipe, but it's an inch and a quarter OD pipe uh, that were ran through all the teeth here. And the first thing I did was cut all of them out. I found it easier to just cut the pipes this way and then kind of knock them out with a hammer i had to cut out plenty you know so so it would come out easier but got all the pipes out next thing i gotta do is cut this plate off but i'm gonna wait till i get my new one i think i don't know i might start cutting it, but it's getting close to the end of the day so i'm gonna call it a day but uh that's the next thing is cut that plate off and then Cut off one of these that need to be replaced and get measurements mm, no yeah i get measurements and then have kyle burn these out i think so what i actually did here was i took a piece of 11 gauge metal just an old piece i had laying around and i clamped it to the end tooth that wasn't bent as bad anyway and i just traced it with my soapstone i then took that piece to kyle there at stillwater steel and he you know, took all the angles with his angle finder and all that stuff and he plugged it into his CAD program. And uh, the uh, where the tip was, it didn't end up exactly uh, matching what, what was on the plate versus what was on his CAD program. So I just had him kind of do it random and here in a little bit, you'll be able to see the new ones whenever I get a couple of them tacked on. If you pay, if you pay close attention, you can see that the, the new teeth looked a little, a little different. So I did have to end up trimming the new teeth to make them match the old teeth. I didn't show any of that or talk about any of that in detail, but I just wanted to share with you that that's what I did here and uh, that's what worked for me. In the end, it, it worked out all right, as you'll find out shortly. My plan is to cut it here. I'm gonna put half inch back in instead of three eighths. Cut it here, bevel it, bevel the new piece I put in. All right, now we've got parts from Stillwater Steel Burnout. Uh, we've got our other part over here this new piece and I made it a little bit wider here and here but uh, now we just got to cut out these four teeth I just laid them out I'm gonna make a cut here here so these two because they're bent these two are bad I'm gonna make a cut here and then I'm gonna cut out these two teeth here here make a cut here so then four teeth will be gone and then i'll just have to scarf one two three four five six pieces of scarf and or use a zip disc to cut these welds so this plate will come off and then we'll put that new plate over here on and then lay our new teeth in bevel bevel the plates and we'll get full penetration weld there clean up these holes where are you at karen what's up girl what are you gonna do today? All right, that sounds pretty interesting. So anyway, that's the plan. I'm just gonna get the cut in here.
If you're enjoying this video, I want to invite you to an in-person workshop where I personally am going to teach six of you how to do the 12 on 12 branch test. For those of you who don't know, the 12 on 12 branch test is one of the most common pipeline weld tests. So if you already have a welding rig and you're interested in pipeline welding, or you just want to better your fabricating skills, your grinding skills, your layout skills, your hand torch skills, your stick welding skills, each workshop is going to be a two day event. There will be three meals provided. Come to Oklahoma, bring your family, hang out with us for a couple of days. Our goal is to either help you feel more confident going into your first pipeline weld test or maybe second or third, or just help you feel confident in fitting pipe. Uh, like I said, all these skills that I talked about that, that you're gonna learn. We just want you to feel more confident about your skills as a welder fabricator. To save your seat, make sure and go to the link in the description of this video and sign up. We'll see you there. This is a, a better example of scarfing than I've shared in the past. It's been a long time since I've really shared much scarfing, but uh, that's the whole purpose of scarfing is to is to separate your, your weld from your metal. And you can see I'm kind of going backwards, but all I'm doing is I'm scarfing the weld until I see the line and that line is that's how you know you got the the metal separated because I mean it it shows you if that makes sense but so I just I just scarf until I see that line because then I know my then I know the weld separated from the from the metal hope that makes sense you're looking for the line anytime you're scarfing something because that line essentially tells you where your penetration stops if you will Definitely not pretty, but it's technically disconnected, or should be. I'm not saying there won't be a part that's still hung up, but yeah, here's a little better shot over here. Now I'm just tacking this. I obviously got it off the table uh, just so I could put this on a little easier. This new piece that we got burnt out. I'm literally just kind of tacking it. I tacked it down here. I'm pulling measurements from here to try to keep it somewhat square. I mean, these other ones that I didn't cut out or these pieces here that I didn't cut out are still a little bit bent. So it's not gonna be perfect, but I'm just trying to find happy mediums and get I'll get all these as close to center as possible in between here. So we're just moving right along here. I had to take these two off to get my bars in. And I noticed before I ever started in on this thing that this is bent because the quick connect thing behind here stops here. So this is bent back a little bit. So that 
threw off all my holes and stuff so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna put in like what i've done here i've got a full section of pipe full section of pipe but it wouldn't go all the way through because it's tweaked right in here too so i'm just gonna put a short piece in there short piece in there and i'm gonna weld all the way around all these because from the factory it only had like two welds on one side of the bar it didn't have any welds over here so i think by welding them all the way out that'll help as well so anyway we're plugging right along here got this top plate all tacked up now I just cut a short section to go there there now I'm fixing to slide these in and give them a little tack you betcha and then I'll just have two more right there and then I'll be able to probably just leave it right here and start welding out this pipe and weld everything on the bottom of this plate that I can like just right in here and then fold it back down probably weld these two while I'm down here and then fold it back down and weld the other side of this and then put it all back together put the claws back on Alrighty, 
That's gonna be it. Just gotta put the calls back on. Call the customer, tell him it's done. Once again, it feels good to rebuild something. I love it. I absolutely love it. Thanks for coming along with me today. I hope you have an awesome weekend, an awesome day, whenever it is you may be watching this. And like I said earlier, if you are interested in the in-person branch workshop dates that we have coming up, make sure and go to the link in the description and register for your seat now. And like always, for more helpful information or resources, check out our two websites, arosswelding.com and arosswelding.school. Thanks again for being here. And remember, learn something every day. We'll see you soon.